everybody. Welcome to probably our last Starkfest of the year. Today we are doing the classic Home Alone that's been around for uh, 1990. Yes. Yeah. I feel old now. <laughs> we are. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, granted, my dad got the worst of me on that one. But uh, this is a Christmas classic, obviously. It's been rerun on TV 18,000 million times at least. <laughs> Every year they play it on some channel. I mean, odds are it's playing on some channel right now as we speak. So, I mean, it's a classic. Um, I, I remember loving it growing up, I, but I've kind of become a little bit more... Uh, I kind of like it a little bit less now that I'm an adult, only because it's like, how are people this stupid? <laughs> um, yeah. So, so I just rewatched this. Because when I was with my family, my eight-year-old nephew really wanted to watch it. And I kind of had the same like thing. I'm like, what are you doing, you guys? Like, this is not worth it. But I also realized as I was watching it that every time I had seen this movie growing up had been on the TV. I had never seen the full version before. And I'm saying this because as I'm watching this, there's a scene at one point. Ooh, that's my cookie, isn't it? There's a scene at one point, and I'm look, watching this movie, and I'm like, I don't remember this scene. It must have been cut, like edited from the TV for time purposes every time I've watched it. Because we had taped it off the TV too, right? So we had, so I grew up watching an edited version, and it was I was pretty I was pretty amused. I'm like, what yeah. is going on right now? <laughs> so yeah, um, trying to, I don't. I can't think of a scene that would have been that would have been cut, but when we get to it, I'll point it out because nothing enough. really happens in it, and I'm like, yeah, this oh. this scene was most likely cut for time purposes. I did I did just think of one that I'll point out when we get to it, but um, yeah, so we'll get into this because you know, like I said, Christmas classic. It's absolutely hilarious. Although, like I said, it's going to make us really, yeah, like I said, 1990. We're going to be spotting a lot of things that are like, oh, man, how technology has changed. So, oh, all right, PG, all right. Everybody, go ahead, pull yours up. Ready? And in three, two, one, play. I probably should have mentioned that this is on Disney Plus as we speak. Um, I'm pretty sure it's on other streaming services, but I couldn't tell you which. I got to turn that down. We got to turn ours up. I mean, we got to turn ours up. Oh, yeah. right, there we go. Yeah. 20th Century Fox. How long till they make it the 21st or 22nd? Never. <laughs> Never. Even, Never. Even, yeah. Christopher Columbus, the director, Colin Culkin. <laughs> Colin Culkin kind of had a. Yeah, he had an interesting life because he was like the child star and then he went the way of Carrie Fisher and just did a lot of drugs. Well, that's because his dad is crazy. That's fair. His I mean, dad was his that. manager. Mm -hmm. it's not well, but that's, that's the thing that happens with a lot of child actors is that when they become so successful so early on, the parents can't really control them. And it's not like Michael no. Cookin's dad was doing anything, was doing any good at the, as it was, so... Macaulay Culkin's dad is the reason he was famous. He was his manager, and he pushed him to be in all of these movies. Mm. His dad is was the parent that was like the... He was totally trying to make his son famous and pushing him into the spotlight and trying to make... And trying to get rich off him. That's fair. And he did. And he did. Uh, and it fucked up Macaulay Culkin. But also think of his little brother, didn't it? Well, who's in this movie, by the way? <laughs> And there you see, uh, I can't remember his name, but I just know he's not Mark. What's his face? Is pretending to be a cop. Yeah, pretending to be a cop. I, I did not realize that when I was little. <laughs> now, what it, no, the thing that gets me is, okay, number one, why are there no adults talking to the police officer there, obviously? Number two, how was he in the house if the adult did not answer the door? <laughs> okay, there are three families in this house right now. Yeah. 
there's two sets of adults. A kid probably let them in because, as you can see, the cops constantly trying to find the owners of the house. So yeah. someone else let him in. One of the eleven kids, maybe. Because yeah. no, oh, it's a cop. Why wouldn't I let him in? You know, they don't think anything of it. The parents are running around trying to like get everything ready. They're not paying attention either. Yeah. The only kicker I have with that is even as a, even when I was a kid, my parents were if the, even if there was a cop at the door, you still come find us. <laughs> Again, there's 11 kids in this house. Only yeah, three fair. of them live in it. I don't know yeah. who let the cop in. That's fair. Did I burn down the joint? I don't think that, Yeah, It's like, what the heck happened are you talking about? Shh. But yeah, no, this is, but yeah, you're right. Because you're like, there are uh, three families in this household, but only two sets of adults, so... Because the third, because a couple of the kids are the kids of the got people in Paris that they're going to visit. So that's why oh, there's three. Oh, yeah, right, yeah. I forgot. Because see, she's the her parents are the ones. Yeah, that finally, gonna... someone asked. No. No. My parents live in Paris. Can you get that? Are your parents home? Yeah, they live here. Orphanage. Uh, but another thing is, he's looking to rob this place. Wouldn't he see that? Because, I mean, look in the background. There's not exactly a lot that's really worth taking from the house. It's just the biggest house on the block. Yeah, well, fair. I mean, you've seen what that thing looks like from the outside. He's not doing a very good job of casing the house. You're right. You'd think he'd be wandering from room to room, pretending to find somebody and like actually. Yeah, it's like, hey, where's the parent? Blah, blah, blah. You know. Yeah. Why is everybody so against the kid? Um, who's gonna feed your spider? Mom? He's just younger than them all. Yeah, don't mess I don't with the parents. Well, because two of them are his siblings, so that's why they're. Yeah. Um, I think that one girl he was just talking to is his sister. Yeah. And Buzz is obviously his brother, so that's why. Yeah, he's Buzz is the older brother. <laughs> They have nude beaches, not in winter. Who has a who would have a nude beach in freaking winter? I, that's I thought that's what his cousin said. They're not gonna they're not the brightest. He's excited to go to Europe because he's heard they've had new beaches and he's obviously didn't think it all the way through like his cousin did. Obviously wasn't thinking at all. I don't think Buzz is the brightest. Wow, that's soon. Back in family. Okay, and here they got the old neighbor. Uh, wouldn't they know him? No, I knew nine neighbors growing up, but not everyone. So it turns out not everybody is all that friendly. I don't know half my neighbors right now. I say hi to them, but I don't know them. Well, it was always just a thing of like, okay, if mom and dad, if something happens, I mean, like I said, I live, I live in South Dakota where it is very possible for, you know, we got snowed in, we got snowed in, we're not going to make it home. So my parents were always, you know, okay, you know, get to know the neighbors that way. If something happens, we can, you know, you can go there and, you know, we can get a hold of us in some way. So well, I mean, they might know the neighbors on the other side of the house, and this guy lives across the street, or vice versa. Like they they know their other neighbors because they mention that later. Like they start calling them whenever they're trying to get a hold of Kevin. Uh -huh. So it's just this one guy. He lives by himself on this block. He doesn't socialize much. So therefore, everybody makes up stories about him, and nobody yeah. actually knows who he is. That's fair. And that's not safe. 
If you're if your pizza driver is sliding like that, oh man, those pizzas are not gonna be in good condition. But hey, he delivered them in 20 minutes, so they still have to pay. Yeah, back when that was a thing. <laughs> right. Yeah, uh, they don't do that anymore, mind you, obviously. Um, and I know the reason why, and I'm pretty sure most people can figure it out. <laughs> and two kids finally stop stop to talk to this guy, and they're just they're not even talking. They're just what? No. <laughs> And the pizza guy doesn't see anything suspicious that a police officer answers the phone. I mean, granted, he granted us. Uh, I'm pro- he probably assumes that the police officer lives there. So, finally, an adult. Hi, are you Mr. McAllister? Yeah. And Mr. McAllister, he lives here. Yes. Oh, good, because somebody owes me a hundred and twenty-two. Like the words you said. Am I under arrest or something? No, 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 no. It's uh, Christmas time. There's always a lot of burglaries around the holidays. So we're just checking the neighborhood to see if everyone's taking proper precautions. Yeah. Oh, yeah. See, so he's just pretending to be a concerned policeman. Yeah, now, now it's just, okay, look, you know, we've had a lot of bubble. You know, he's just talking. Uh, mind you, a police officer would never come to your door and sh- talk to you like this, obviously. Maybe they think that their police officer is just going above and beyond the call of duty. Who's paying the pizza guy? Somebody will. Give him a second. See? Buzz is a dick. Also, how did they all eat an entire pizza? Yeah, how did they finish that? He's the last one to get there. That's fair. Yeah, but how did they plow through that so quickly? Because there's like fourteen of them. Actually, there's fourteen people. Why do they need twelve pizzas? No doubt. So it's like a pizza per person. Everyone's spilling yeah. stuff everywhere. Mm-hmm. But if you, get, you gotta pay attention here. Look, he spilled it all over the passports. He just threw away Kevin's ticket and passport. Yep. It's very I didn't important. Didn't even realize. Yeah, no, not right. It's like a very quick scene too. They don't even like dwell on it for you to like. Yeah, they did it. Yeah, well, granted, back in this time, it was they didn't have they didn't really dwell on scenes that much. It was always just boom, 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 move on. Yeah, but like it's kind of imp- like oh no. Yeah, you you would think they would have no- noticed it a little bit more than what they showed, but You're such a disease. Yeah, that's such a '90s like insult. You're such yeah. a disease. <laughs> Because your parents didn't order more. No doubt. Then again, my pa- my dad always forgot that I did not like pepperoni pizza, so I feel Kevin's pain. Yeah, <laughs> granted, I love pizza, so I would eat pretty much anything. Um, the only thing I really didn't like is supreme pizzas, like you know the ones with everything on them. So. Don't worry about me. I spoke to your husband already. And don't worry about your home. It's yeah. In good hands. Yeah, that's not suspicious at all. Yeah, don't worry about me. I'm a police officer. Your house is in good hands. Yeah. Although the one that got me is, I already talked to your husband. Then why are you still here? Right. Would you rather sleep in the basement, Kevin? Yeah. Although at this point, now we're starting to see how he's... If you listen to him, he's very clearly like a, almost a sociopath if you just listen to what he says. He shows he's all... He's an the, eight-year-old who's yeah, pissed well, at his family. Yeah. Well, yeah, and here. 
Uh, maybe you should ask Santa for a new family. I think we're a little bit off desync, but we're pretty close. It's like, uh, maybe you should ask Santa for a new family. What the hell kind of mother says that to their son? She's trying to prove to him that he's being ridiculous, but he's eight. Yeah. You say a lot of things at the age of eight when you're angry that you don't actually mean. That's fair. But it also, in Kevin's defense, it's not exactly like... By the way, I would love to have this as a bedroom. Um, but in Kevin's defense, it's not exactly like his family's doing anything to redeem themselves. They're all stressed and trying... There's 14 of them in one house. I don't know who thought this was a good idea. Yeah. Oh, he's, yeah. yeah. They completely forgot to check the attic is kind of what happened. Yeah. Now, here, I can't remember, because the alarm gets turned off. I can't remember how, though. Was it just they lose power? Electricity. Or? Yeah, they okay. lose power. They lose power. There's right. a giant windstorm going on right now. They lose power. Okay. And then it's the, oh, God, that is a creepy wreath. Uh, so it's the second one where they accidentally unplug the um, alarm. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and that one is dumb because he just unplugs one alarm clock. And I'm like, there's 14 people in this house. Nobody else set an alarm. Yeah. How does no one notice that? <laughs> what, that they lost power at night? No, how does no one wake up and hear that bang? <laughs> they probably went back to sleep and didn't think anything of it. Like, I don't mm -hmm. know. People sleep through thunderstorms all the time. Yeah, so that's not that weird. I'm, I'm, I know I'm a very heavy sleeper, but I'm pretty sure I would have noticed that. It's just... <laughs> yep, here we go. The music. And this is how you lose a kid. This is how you lose a kid. Yeah. This is uh, so when the neighbor kid comes over is what messes everything up. Why does the neighbor kid come over? Because he's a nebby little fuck. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> You're not pulling any punches today, are you? <laughs> no. <laughs> He <laughs> put them in the microwave. <laughs> Except Kevin's. Kevin's is in the garbage. Yeah. Apparently nobody thought to count the passports before getting in the van. Yeah, no doubt. Because even if they had remembered Kevin, they would have got to the airport and been like, <coughs> fuck. <laughs> yeah. See, the neighbor kid, Murphy, is just what he's going? What is he doing? He go yeah, he's going through their stuff. <laughs> yeah, Buzz just being a complete jerk. He counts Murphy, thinking yeah. that's Kevin. Yep. yep. Got a good head count. Yep. And then Although Murphy I do need to say, if I ever pulled what Buzz did, oh, my cousin would have punched me in the face, and I would, yeah. <laughs> You're not making that plane if you're checking bags. Yeah. We got 45 minutes. We're not going to make that plane. <laughs> why are you telling these people? They're clearly yeah, leaving. Why, why are they <laughs> Yeah. I can't Apparently believe they didn't think they the, time the, the plane leaves in 45 minutes. Uh, good luck getting through security in 45 minutes nowadays. Hey, this is pre 9 11. Yeah, this is yeah, I know. Well, I was just, go through. But still, checking bags takes that long yeah, sometimes. Really 14 people, and they each checked a bag because they're not carrying anything now, so they clearly checked everything. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, even I live in I live in a small have a small airport. I still would I still whenever I go to the airport, I always, you know, I'm always okay. I give myself two hours at least just to make sure I can get through security on time. 
I mean, granted, usually I have time, plenty of time to spare, but I'd rather have spend time bored at the airport than risk missing the plane. So, yeah, and here the largest plane ever. This is something that always bugs me: is the plane sets are so the these big sets. It's like planes are not that big on the inside. They're in and, first class, like or. They're not in first class. They look like they're in like domestic first class seats, which doesn't make sense because they're flying overseas. Yeah, no, but I'm talking. If you look at if you look at the headspace they have, they have plenty of headspace. I'm six foot two, and every plane I've been on, I'm always like, okay, watch, double check, make sure you don't bump your head on anything because maybe you don't have planes bigger. Maybe? I don't know. Yeah. I mean, Grant, I've never been on international flight, so I don't know exactly how big those plays are. And Kevin has... Number one, Kevin has not noticed that no one's there. Number two, wouldn't Kevin have known they're going overseas, so wouldn't he be like, oh, I should probably get my passport and stuff? He probably just thinks that he woke up super early before everyone mm -hmm. else. Yeah, that's a good point. He's still waking up. See, it's slowly dawning on him. That yeah, now, now it's starting to... Oh, wait, they have a dog drawer, but they don't have a dog. What? Yes. They could have bought the house with the dog drawer. Maybe their dog yeah, died. Who knows? Good point. Yeah. We rented a house that had a dog drawer in it. Clearly, mm -hmm. it was a rental house. It's not like... Oh, rental house. Though. I know, but I'm just saying that, like, once you put a dog drawer in a house, in a door, you don't always take it back out. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. And like you said, these are clearly first class seats because there's no way that a seat would be this large in economy. And these two just bickering about blah, blah, blah. But this is, I don't, well, these days, this isn't what a first class. Yeah. Oh, they're definitely in first class. They just said everyone else is in coaching. I know. But like, this is like business class these days for flying abroad. Mm -hmm. Well, they're all in. The parents are all in first class. I kids are in no, Doing saying. makeup on the plane. Oh boy! Hope you don't hit turbulence. <laughs> Mom's a fashion designer. You know, not that I read that somewhere. It's so obvious. There's sewing machines everywhere. She's got fabric everywhere. Yeah. Mannequins everywhere. How did Kevin not hear what was going on downstairs? He wasn't in the attic. Well, yeah, still. I used to sleep in the attic at my grandpa's house. I, you don't hear anything. Because yeah. remember, there's an insulation too on the floorboards. Yeah. That's a good point. Look, more sewing machines and mannequins and patterns and stuff. Where are they? What do these people do for a living that they have so many? I just mannequins? told you, his mom's the kind of fashion designer. That's why she has mannequins and fabric and sewing machines everywhere. Wouldn't she have that in an office building, not in her house, unless she works not from home? Not if she works from home. Well, I mean, fashion designers oftentimes do their shit in the house. <laughs> oh, the furnace, an old style furnace. <laughs> Oh, if the house is old enough, it makes sense. It's Chicago <laughs> they have old houses, so. <laughs> no, this is Chicago. Yeah. That furnace did used to scare me. When yeah, they, they they did they did say this is Chicago. I love that they left the garage door. The cars don't even fit in the garage. Look at that. That's Chicago. <laughs> yeah. They left the garage left doors the open. He loved oh, no, know. Yeah, you're right. Those car stars don't even fit in that garage. The stays dry from the humidity ish. Keeps the snow off of it. I made my family disappear. It's like every eight year old's dream, right? <laughs> I made my family you're such a disease. Yeah. Maybe I'm going to Kevin, I'm going to feed you to my tarantula. Tarantula is such a disease. Yeah. There are 15 people in this Oh, 15 people. Yeah, his uncle makes trouble. His uncle's a jerk. Yeah, yeah, he's the only one making trouble. <laughs> yeah, I doubt it. Yeah. <laughs>
Rock out. Yes, jumping on the bed eating popcorn would be the first thing I'd do. <laughs> I don't think that'd be the first thing I did, bud. Just realized they have two sets of staircases going upstairs. Clearly losing his mind. Play button tap. Uh, doesn't need to be said that's not a picture of a real girl. They got like some boy and dressed him up as a girl for that because they yeah. the director felt it would be too cruel to actually make it a girl. I remember reading that too, yeah. yeah. Shh. And a BB gun. It's got pretty good aim though. Yeah, it does. Yeah, and ice cream for dinner because why not? What was the movie? Angels with filthy is? souls. This is a completely fake movie, by the way. Yeah, 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 it is not real in any way. Not. I kind of wish it was because I would. I would love to see it, but. It's very clearly a mafia movie of some kind. <laughs> yeah. There's a movie that came out recently that also played this. Was that Detective Pikachu? Yeah, I think it was Detective Pikachu. I'm sorry, once he pulls out the gun, why wouldn't you leave at that point? And now you're just pumping dead bullets into a dead guy. Keep the change, you filthy animal. There it is. This is great. What? This scene. Oh. Sorry, my right just watched it. I'm getting ahead of myself. Ah. <laughs> just like, I just feel like I forgot something. What can we forget? <laughs> yeah, did we forget to close the garage? How is that a thing you're worried about? <laughs> Well, for them, it's not that big. Of, well, because people can steal their cars now. And only well, then. If it, was an, if it was an attached garage, you'd be more worried about it because that yeah. would have yeah. access to your house. Yeah, if it were attached garage, then it's the easy access to your house, too. And this sliding down the stairs. Uh, I did that, except I never did it with a sled. We always did it with a mattress. I never did it. Oh, me and my brother did it all the time. Sleeping bags? Yeah. I think I did that too, actually, come to think of it. But when we were little, my mom taught us to just kind of scoot down on our butts anyway, so... <laughs> You can slide down the stairs pretty easily in those 1990s tracksuits. <laughs> that would never happen. That would no. screw up the hardwood floor so bad. Yeah, it would. <laughs> I forgot my reading glasses. Yeah, not helping, dude. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay. The shitty one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Department of Child Protective Services is going to come visit you. Yeah, he's obviously done his research in this place. Again, he pretended to be a police officer and went to every one of their houses to find out if they were going to be home or not. Yeah. And they all told him about the automatic lights yep. and what time they turn on. Number 672. Silver tuna. What? Silver tuna. Yeah. <laughs> Never heard silver tuna. You got ahead of me. How did you manage that? I fast forwarded a second because my paused. Yeah, you fast forwarded too far. Good job. Okay. Where are you at right now then? <laughs> They're doing the timers. They're what? They're doing the timing of the houses. So Let, right tell, me when they, tell me when they grab crowbars. <laughs> there you go. They're grabbing crowbars. They're grabbing crowbars. I heard it on your... Okay, cool. <laughs> oh, oh, they had the Grinch in this too? I forgot about that. <laughs> what the heck does silver tuna mean? I've never heard anyone call I've it. I've never heard that either. <laughs> Sure. What? Oh, I was trying to read the side of the van. I didn't see what it was. It says "Okay, plumbing." <laughs> okay, plumbing. That's a really bad name. All the other ones in its category. Who uses that term? All good questions. Car door opens up and he wakes up. Oh, he wasn't sleeping all that. Yeah, I'm kind of yeah, surprised he, he was on the TV. I, I mean, I, I wouldn't even say he was fully asleep. He was probably. <laughs> Talk about flight, would it be from Chicago to France? Gotta be 14 hours at least. No, it's only maybe eight. Eight or nine? I I don't think it would be 14 hours. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it'd be a long one, but well, it's only like a five-hour flight from Boston to England. It's like eight hours from Pittsburgh to uh Italy. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna just real quick because. Chicago to Paris. Eight hours. It says. I guess. I guess you are traveling with the air the um, jet stream. So yeah, that would. Yeah. So if their flight was at like, oh, they left the house at eight. Yeah. About. I mean, they would have been on the plane the whole day that he was home alone. Yeah. I'm actually got like the timing right. A lot of movies would be like, oh, I'm going to hop on a plane and like two seconds later it's like... Two seconds, yeah, they're, and, like, you know, the they just open some like, portal and they just got there. Yeah. Like, no, it's not how this works at all. Yeah. <laughs> it's like there's actually travel time. Yeah, uh, never do this. Even if you're an adult, never go outside and try to call out the thieves. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel bad for that old guy. He's like, well, geez. 
Okay, he's he's not a, he wasn't afraid anymore. He didn't even lock his yeah. door. No, he didn't do anything. He just walks up, looks at this kid, and the kid starts screaming in absolute terror. It's like, what'd I do? She's like, no, I just need somebody to do a wellness check on my house to see what my son is doing. It's like, chick, you are not listening to me. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, granted, it's not exactly like they're doing anything. The police are doing anything. They're just clearly not caring. No. Involved in a household accident. I don't know. I don't. I, I mean, at this point, I'd be at this point if I were ta- if I were talking to him, it's like okay, he's clearly not listening to what I say, so I'm just gonna say he's gonna burn the fucking house down. <laughs> so get someone over there. It doesn't matter how you get him over there and deal with the consequences later. Also, I don't know if the police would just check on him if he's an eight year old by himself. They probably yeah. would take him into custody. Yeah. No, he's an eight-year-old by himself, and the parents are admitting that they left him alone. Yeah. yeah. This would be a clusterfuck of law problems. This, man. you're right, because people these days get in mad trouble for leaving kids in the car when they run into the grocery store. You would definitely run into all yeah, kinds of be... shit for leaving your kid home alone. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you'd be you'd be in trouble, big time. Yes. Okay, knock on the door. Like this, they okay, would try uh, to you for neglect. They would actually bust in right now. Yeah, they will. Yeah, if they because they would have known what's going on, they would just okay. If the kids not answer, we're gonna break in. <laughs> Like all the lights are on, the lights are on. Answering, and they're just like, "There's no one home." Yeah, that was like scary. The lights are on, dude. You should. What if the kid like hurt himself? Yeah. Seriously, they'd be doing something. They would break the door down. They would get in and get the kid. They wouldn't just be, "Oh, no one's home. It's a prank call." They have is a booking for all this on Friday morning. Friday morning. That's two days away. Look, honey, the kids are exhausted. You are exhausted. There's absolutely nothing we can do in this airport. Now, I said we go over to Rob's, and that way we can call the police again. And they can yeah, uh, here's the idea. Why don't just one of you go back? If you can't, I mean, okay, yeah, you can't go send everybody back. Okay, send one person back then. <laughs> well, that's what they're doing. She's going to stay at the airport on standby, and when they can squeeze her in, they're going to get her on the yeah. flight home. There we go. Yep. Just like the only that. problem is it's still Christmas time and the airlines are still packed. Yeah. Of people trying to like get home to visit families and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, and she's still waving and they're not there. Why is that thing keep popping up? Stop. Okay. Super yeah, and talking to himself. I. T- <laughs> He's never cleaned in his belly button before. I don't know. I can't see him coming. I like how the iconic, like, picture of him screaming is from him putting aftershave on his face. <laughs> yeah. And not actually from screaming at, like, the bad guys. <laughs> yeah. <gasps> oh, the wrong way. Oh, jeez. This is why you're not supposed to climb shelves, kids. Yeah, never climb shelves. Ever, ever, ever. <laughs> Ouch. Buzz is going to be so pissed. Yeah. 
I just realized something. To make that scene where it broke, they actually removed all the middle struts that were, yeah, they were, that yeah. were originally holding the yes. shelves up. Yeah. They That's were exactly. there to when he started climbing, but when they broke, they had all disappeared. Yep. And the tarantula's loose. Like, those should not have broken down the middle. They even still had the thing on the wall where this support should have been for it. Yeah. Ah. How Maybe long were they how long were they gonna be gone for? What was Buzz's plan with the tarantula? He had just fed it a bunch of stuff, so um it was just I mean tarantulas don't need to eat every day. He said he fed it enough that it should be good for a week or a few weeks or something. I forget what exactly. Yeah. I mean, Grant, I do know that tarantulas are I mean, tarantulas are an animal that you can Pretty much feed once and I have to worry about it for a little while, but I'm not sure how long. Murph that... is an idiot. Yeah. You think you can keep Also, why do they have presents under the tree if they're not going to be home for Christmas? Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, and they're he's calling the neighbors. <laughs> Hey, Harry? Yeah? That house we were at last night, was that McAllister's? Yeah. You're right. They're gone. <laughs> the silver tuna. What is what? I don't get I've never heard that before. Uh, Kale How is a kaleidoscope that interesting? Um, have you ever looked at kaleidoscopes? They're very mesmerizing. Is this a toothbrush approved by the American Dental Association? It's a freaking toothbrush! I would assume so. Uh -huh. I got a question here about a toothbrush. Like, what would make a toothbrush not be approved by the American yeah. Dental Association? <laughs> yeah. Is this toothbrush approved by... If it was a toothbrush, it would be. Yes. Done. Uh -huh. His hands all bloody. He's buying band aids. I know. I know, but seriously, you're not helping the kid because the kid's obviously afraid of you. You're not helping by staring at him so intently. Wait, son, you have to pay for that toothbrush. Son? Son? Hey! Judy, stop that boy! I'm surprised the old guy wasn't just like, don't worry about it, I'll pay for his yeah. like It's a kid! <laughs> it's a kid! Hey, Judy, stop that boy! police officer is really suck. How is a police officer not able to outrun a kid? Um, I've... That police officer doesn't look like he's in good shape. Uh, this part here. <laughs> He's got to have something on his knees. You wouldn't slide that. Yeah. Long. Also, how um, are people playing hockey on the same skating rink that people said, are Yeah, like, they're the same rink that people are ice skating on. That makes yeah. no sense. You never do that because you're, well, it's like you're playing hockey. What happens if the puck goes AWOL? Like, getting hit it, by a hit. It's not even that. Like, how are you playing hockey when there are people constantly skating into your playing zone? Yeah. Although that that does remind me, uh, a few years ago, me and my family went to uh, went to a local hockey game, and they hit they the puck went a wall, went over the barricade, and was flying right at my niece and everybody's hand pff, right in front of her. Um, I will never forget that. Yes, she we got we gave her the puck. <laughs> Yeah, I will never forget like that. Just steal. Like, they just took the most random shit from this house. Yeah, I, I, I don't see how that stuff's worth a lot of money. You left the water running? <laughs> You're a dick. Yeah, you left the water running. 
Although that does that does remind me, I heard stories about how like thieves would go in and just steal remotes too. So, I mean, granted, now nowadays we live in the time where TVs are actually going to be taken because they're so easy. To grab. <laughs> and here they almost run over. Yeah. How does he? And how does the kid not notice? Because he was still in his own little world from almost running into uh, the scary neighbor. Yeah. Sandy, don't visit the funeral home for the buddy. Oh, Sandy, don't visit the funeral yeah, home. Yeah. And now he remembers. I mean, the gold tooth shining in the sun. Uh, you don't see that all that often. Yeah. Bing! Uh, I mean, you only saw 100 kids because 99 of them were at his house. Yeah, this this part here. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're gonna follow this kid slowly. Yeah, uh, you're not helping yourselves, dude. Just stay in because he's clearly walking. So just stay, stay in the, stay where you're at, and just let him walk and watch him from a distance. They hope that this kid's a moron, which she clearly isn't. Yeah. Because you're following him. Yeah, Why no. Is he going? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Uh... And the to be seen. It's some big church. Is that an actual church in Chicago? I don't know. I've never been to Chicago. Yeah. You would, I would assume so. Probably cathedral there. And they lost sight of them. Maybe we're in the church. Why are they so afraid of going in the church? Because they're dumb. Also, you're not going to chase going to a church to look for a little kid that you want to beat yeah. up. Just wait for him elsewhere. Yeah, here. How long did it take him to set this whole setup up? Well, I, yeah, probably. We gotta give yeah. him that. Did they come back? Paris. I like the. Michael yeah, the Michael Jordan cut out. See, how long did it take him to set that up? Oh, Jesus cracker. <laughs> 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 He's a really good puppeteer, it seems. Right. Come back tomorrow, we're gonna be gone by then. You gotta get out of here before somebody sees us. There's nobody on the block. Yeah. Like, you know that they're in Paris. Yeah. It's someone's home. They're clearly either not going to Paris with the rest of the family. Or the family's back from Paris. Yeah. I. What? Well, maybe they'll be gone tomorrow. Okay. Makes absolutely no sense. This is the scene that I had never seen before. Okay. I'm pretty sure it was cut out of the television or off the TV version. Because It's a Wonderful Life is my dad's favorite movie. I'm pretty sure I would have remembered them watching it in French. <laughs> okay. So, why would they cut the scene from TV? Because it doesn't I'm serve any purpose. The only thing that happens is he gets a phone call about something. Fair. And the Eiffel Tower in the background. Just to prove they're in France. Yeah. yeah. 
France is a big city. Uh, not every place in the city can see the Eiffel Tower, but... but yeah, it is a... It's like, dang, that that family member must be rich. You're not at all worried about Kevin. Why should I be? Don't you have to like a jerk once too many times? And this time he caught in the butt. He's a little helpless. Don't you think he's flipped out? A little yeah. How much do you hate your little brother, dude? Seriously? I'm not at all worried that something might happen to him. No. For three reasons. A. I'm not that lucky. Two. Yeah. For three reasons. A. Two. Oh. You are not bright there, dude. No. Nope. How old is Buzz supposed to be at this time? Let's see. I'd say, uh, He's probably 14 or 15. Yeah. And he can't do A, B, C or count one, two, three. No. Nope. How many times do you knock that thing over, dude? Uh, he's done it twice. The airport shuttle did it. Yeah, please use back door. Little zero, sir. I have your pizza. Leave it on that doorstep and get the hell out of here. Okay. Um, well, what about the money? What money? Well, you have to pay for your pizza, sir. Benefit. How much do I owe you? Uh, it'll be eleven eighty, sir. Yep. Twelve bucks. Yep. Keep the change, you filthy animal. That was the last thing he says. Yeah. So which means he like rewinds it. Yeah. To get your ugly, yellow, no good keister off my property before I pump your guts to a left. No. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure the pizza guy would be calling police because, yeah. dude, I was just shot at. Yeah. Also, pizza delivery guy is not going to that house again. Yeah, never. No pizza place is ever going to that house again. <laughs> Burn rubber. I like how she's trying to like bribe her way. Yeah, into... bribe her way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who's not? She only has one first class ticket. Where she got the second one from? Yeah. I'm desperate. I'm begging you. From a mother to a mother, please. Oh, Ed, please. Oh, oh my. <laughs> so she's already spent, what, one day in the airport? Yeah. yeah. Right on Friday, anyway. And she's now out $500, two first class plane tickets. A uh, watch and her, I'm assuming, wedding ring. A ring and earrings, yeah. Yeah. I mean, granted, I do understand she is desperate to get back to get her son, but... I mean, granted, I'm still just going, how have they not called their own house yet? The phones I mean, are down. They can't get a hold of them. They called their neighbors. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's only his side of the street. Uh, yeah, and it could be. Well, because remember they were telling that house specifically that hey, your phones are going to be out for a while. Yeah. How has Kevin not gone to police yet, though? Why would he go to the police? He's eight. Again, they they would probably just take him into foster custody if he's like, hey, I'm all by myself. I don't know if they take him into foster company. They take him to like a relative of some kind. To all his relatives are on that plane. I don't know. 
Also, he thinks that they disappeared because he made a wish. Yeah, fair. So. Good <laughs> How many like times did you put an aftershave on your face and get freaked out, house. dude? I don't see that cash. <laughs> He found that's, Buzz's stash of cash. That's only had like six. Yeah, that's how he paid. That's how he paid for the pizza and stuff. Yeah, and here, yeah, she, clearly she'd be asking questions. She does. How would she know, dude? I'll give them a whirl. Oh my gosh. For the, you're a kid! <laughs> That's why it's funny. Oh my gosh. Okay. Are you here all by yourself? See? Yeah, I'm eight years old. Yeah, and now he's just pulling the. I, don't I I'm here. I'm eight years old. Where's your mom? My mom's in the car. Where's your father? He's at work. What about your brothers and your sisters? I'm an only child. Where do you live? Uh, I can tell you. Yeah, here. Yeah, sure, yeah. Sure. Where do you live? I I'm not telling you that. <laughs> I'm a little bit surprised she doesn't go. Why is your mom in the car? <laughs> Maybe she's teaching him a life lesson. Mm. Good point. Also, how often do plastic bags break like that? Yeah, no doubt. You think they will double bag them? Also, look at this kid doing laundry. I wasn't doing laundry when I was eight. Apparently, he got down and did laundry for most of the time without an issue, and only now is getting worried about the furnace. Well, furnace, it's when the furnace kicks on that it makes a scary noise, right? So, yeah. this is maybe. He just, he just says, shut up. Yeah, he's over it now. Yeah. To be fair, that is kind of how kids get over it. They just kind of had that moment of bing, realizing it's not a thing. They had a party last night. Of course, yeah. it's jumping. They stayed up late. They're sleeping in. Yeah. These two are so dumb. Anyone else would have just let this house go by now. Yeah. It's already. It's already. You're already raided the neighbors' houses. So why are you going to this? Why is this one's the? Why is this one the silver it's tuna? The silver tuna. It's the biggest house on the street, and he saw something in it when he went in. Oh, the house is, the door is locked. You don't say. How does your shoe fall off? Because it's a slip on and he's an idiot. Get the hell out of here. All right, Johnny. <laughs> How would he? How much do I owe you? This is obviously his favorite part of this movie. Yeah, clearly. You mean? He's upstairs taking a bath. Although this is a pretty clever idea from Kevin. <laughs> Although why did he put the firecrackers in there? I'm wondering. To make it louder. No, but they were in no not not in the bowl, but they were in the kitchen. Why did he have them in the kitchen in a drawer? I don't know. Because he was going to play with them later. Remember? Yeah. Yeah, that it. Keep the change, you filthy animals. He's even mouthing with the movie. He's watched it way too many times. Yeah. <laughs> 
Somebody beat us to the job. They're in there. Two of them. They was arguing. One of them blew the other one away. Who? I don't know. How would he know? I recognize one of their voices. I know I heard that name was Snakes before. Snakes? Snakes. Snakes. I don't know those snakes. Snakes. Let's get out of here. Oh, hell. Let's wait and see who it is. We work this neighborhood too. Supposing the cops finger us for a job, and they start asking us questions about a murder in the area. Would it be nice to have a face to go with their questions? Shh. No. No one. Yeah. No. That's a terrible idea. <laughs> That's a bad idea. What are you guys doing in this neighborhood? Do you guys live here? No. I like how he's thinking about getting caught. Everything's full. Everything's full. Okay, so it cl clearly the plane she took back from Paris was not... It was clear to some other place. It wasn't to yeah. Chicago. Nothing available. May I help you get a hotel room in the city? Tomorrow afternoon we can get you a flight to Chicago. I can't wait that long. I'm terribly sorry, ma'am. But we're doing absolutely yeah. everything we can do. She's got to be somewhere. Yeah. She's in the, obviously in the U.S. Yeah. You can drive. Yeah. Rent a car or something. I have been awake for almost 60 hours. I've been from Chicago she, to Paris. To, to okay, Dallas. Dallas? Holy shit. She's in Scranton. I am trying to get uh, Where's Scranton at? You're in Ohio. It's like an eight-hour drive. Scranton, PA? <coughs> Scranton, Ohio. There's a Scranton, Ohio? I've never like heard. I feel like she was closer when she was in <laughs> Dallas. I will sell my... <laughs> <laughs> no, idea. Yeah, she's in Scranton, PA, so it's literally... Yeah, she's that's in Pennsylvania. That's... How long would it be to... Like, I feel like going from Dallas to Scranton was not the best of choices. Whenever yeah, no doubt. <laughs> okay. Six hundred and twenty-two miles. Yeah, he's trying. He's trying to sell his thing, but well, from, apparently, yeah, from Scranton to Chicago, and it would have been a fifteen-hour drive from Dallas to Chicago. She did not help herself at all by flying to Scranton. Okay, dude, you're you're. She hasn't heard of you. Stop trying, okay, dude. Again, she hasn't heard of you. You're not helping. Just present your case. Again. <laughs> okay, dude, shut up and present your. Say what you're doing. Dude, she's. Yeah. Our flight was canceled, so we got to drive. So, see the guy in the yellow jacket over there? But the budget's on. He's going to rent us a nice big uh, van. And we're going to drive to Milwaukee. Now, I heard you had some problems here uh, getting to Chicago. To okay, uh, Milwaukee to Chicago. That's not too terribly far, I don't think. No, Chicago. Um, is, where's Milwaukee? Well, well, from what they're saying, from what they're saying, it sounds like that uh, Chicago would be on the way. Is from what based on what they're saying? Yeah. And they're both asleep. How does yeah, it Kevin not notice? And now they're piecing everything together. <laughs> Not very well. They're dumb. Yeah. They're, they got scammed by an eight-year-old. They're yeah. dumb. Not exactly what I would call a high benchmark of intelligence. Nope. Granted, it's not like anybody in this movie's ever been a high benchmark of intelligence. If they were smart, they could just do a smash and grab right now. Right. Mm. 
Like they yeah. already know no one is home in the neighborhood. Kids, their parents got them. He's home. Go kick the family door in the Right. Uh, they do try, actually. Yeah. Why is this house the Silver Tuna? What is this so special? Seriously. Kids are scared of the dark. You're afraid of the dark. You're afraid of the dark, dude. Seriously. And again, Marv actually had the better idea of why not just doing it now? Yeah. Because kids are afraid of the dark. How is it nighttime where they're at? Um, I guess the sun probably does set around five, so. They're not even on a bus. They're on a oh, freaking a van. van. Yeah. <laughs> they have to... Dude, I, I, she's clearly That's grateful weird. that you're giving her a ride, but stop pushing this shit on her, dude. Okay, so it's nighttime now. Why are they not raiding the house now? Again, the sun sets at like five. Yeah, that's a good point. Far. You live this far north. Yeah, the sun sets pretty early here, too, so that's a good point. <laughs> Alice. Hey, nice shoes. Oh, thanks. Is she still here? Really important to see him. Let's get in his car. Oh, Santa's shop. He's eight, remember. <laughs> I know, I know. Christmas Eve. What's next? Reading shop for the Easter bunny? Yeah. <laughs> Can I talk to you for a minute? Yeah, if you make it quick, Santa's got a little get together he's late for. Okay. Yeah, uh, you're not even wearing the beard, dude. What makes you say that? There we go. <laughs> I'm old enough to know how it works. All right. Then why are you trying? You work for me. I like you to give me that. Because he's eight. Yeah. Point. He still believes in Santa, but realizes that the Santa he visits not real. He's halfway there. Yeah. I just want my family. Peter, Katie, Buzz, Megan, Lily, and Jeff. My aunt, my cousins. If you have time, my uncle. His uncle's a jerk. Like, if you have time. Yeah. See what I can do. Well, listen, my elf took the last of the candy canes home to his wife. That's okay. No, 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 don't be silly. Everybody sees Santa, do you? Something. Okay. Well, Here you go. Spoil your dinner. I won't. Thanks. Man, that's a beat up old car. <laughs> Even the 90s, that would be a beat up old car. <laughs> yeah, the. <laughs> Thank. Soft music playing. We gotta give props to John Williams who did the score in this movie. John Williams did this score? Yeah. Oh. You didn't know that? I did not know. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. I'm just okay. So this is clearly a family he's never taught. They don't that they don't know, obviously. But I think if I think if you were Kevin, you'd go up to this house and be like, "Look, I can't find my family. Can you help me out?" <laughs> I mean, great. And like we already mentioned, if this were real, the, he would. The police would have him. And, you know, the police would at least know of him. I don't know what they'd do with them, but they would at least have him with, like, a neighbor or family friend's house or something. They would have put him into CPS care. Or something, yeah. They'd put him somewhere where they don't, where it's like, okay, this kid's get you know, they don't have to worry. I mean, ob they would obviously go to family members first. I think they might even go to family friends, too, but I'm not sure. His 
uncle is on the plane. I, I, the only thing we can assume at this point is that his mom may or may not have. Yeah, her mom's an old, only sibling. Going. Yeah, her mom's got to be an only sibling. So. But I don't know. I don't know if they put him into into CPS just because, no. like, okay, they would. Kind of like if alone, just, they would have taken him into custody, put yeah, him in CPS, him in the- and they would but have I, they would have charged his parents when they. Oh came yeah, back his parents are custody. charged. His parents are charged with criminal neglect. Seriously. Oh man, this reminds me of a church of uh, of the cathedral here. Every time I see the scenes, because the in, the interior of the cathedral at, in Sioux Falls looks very similar to this. But I remember when I was a kid, they had it all painted, and then they're like, oh, we're going to get rid of the paint to make it look all more authentic within two years. Yeah, we're putting the paint back up because we're idiots. And the old guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at least the old guy knows. He is the only one who knows what's going on. No, he just keeps seeing this kid, and the kid's scared of him. And he's yeah. like, "No, you don't need to be afraid of me, kid. I'm your neighbor. It's fine." Yeah, Merry Christmas, huh? <laughs> 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 the kid's clearly scared. My granddaughter, yeah. He's like your age. You know her? You live next to me, don't you? You can say hello. Yeah. You can say hello and not scream in my face. Um, yeah, <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> <laughs> you swear to it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yep. And now he's going full on. <laughs> I'm going to and now, now his neighbor's like, crap, what did I get myself into? Yeah, no doubt. I'm shutting up. I think so. How you feel about your family is a complicated thing. Especially with an older brother. Deep down, you always love him. You forget that you love him. Yeah. You've never been like near you. That's not just because you're young. One of the real reasons why I'm here right now? Sure. <laughs> I came to hear my granddaughter sing. I can't come here tonight. Do you have plans? No. I'm not welcome. At church? <laughs> I'm not welcome with my welcome son. With my son. Mm-hmm. Years back, before you and your family moved in the club. I killed my son. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, please don't. <laughs> Grown up, he lost their tempers, and I said I didn't care to see him anymore. He said the same. We haven't spoken to each other since. If you miss him, why don't you call him? I'm afraid if I call him, you won't talk to him. How do you know? I don't know. I'm just afraid. No offense, but aren't you a little old to be afraid? <laughs> You can be a little old for a lot of things. Yeah. You won't be afraid. That's true. I've always been afraid of our basement. Stark, weird stuff down there. <laughs> Smells funny. It's bothered me for years. Basement's He's like eight. It's bothered him okay. for years. <laughs> and I found out it's not so bad. All this time I've been worrying about it. But if you turn on the lights, it's no big deal. What's your point? My point is, you should call it your son. <laughs> and now the old guy is getting a life advice from an eight-year-old. From an eight-year-old. Yes. I'm afraid of you. 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 I'm
Sometimes. Which granted, I do know sometimes kids can just say something so blatantly obvious that you just never think about it, but give it a shot. Granddaughter, anyway. I'm sure she misses you and the presents. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my grandparents said that? They always show me clothes. Last year I got a sweater with a big bird, maybe on it. Oh, that's nice. No, I forgot in the same. <laughs> you can get beat up for it or something like that. <laughs> yeah. I got a friend who got nailed. <laughs> okay, come on. I never got picked on for wearing dinosaur pajamas because everybody wore dinosaur pajamas. Exactly. Dinosaur awesome. Second grade. Dinosaurs are awesome. Dinosaurs. Yeah. Look, he's got a bandaid on his cut hand. Yeah. The bandaid he just bought at the store. How about you? Me? Yeah. You're your son. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I got a very synthesized version of it. It is slowed down, but it's still very synthesized. Wait for it. Yeah, see? <laughs> this is I, this is why where John William Willie so says this is still a Christmas song, but it's more you can tell it's also like a like okay, get ready, time time for battle type song too, so they use it again in the second movie. Yeah. Moses. Isn't Moses 4 from this movie and the second movie? Is from, I don't. <laughs> Are you what? Fucking, I've never noticed that. What? He just what the opened hell? the door. James just noticed that he left the house unlocked the entire time he was out. <laughs> The bad guys could have already robbed him. They could have came in, opened the door, gotten everything, and gone out oh without any. Oh, this part here. Oh, jeez. That's just brutally awesome. What icing the stairs? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. This is a great way to set your house on fire. Or at least melt the doorknob. Yeah. It makes a hole. Oh, jeez. He cleans up. Oh, God, that nail. Oh, God, that nail. Yeah. You're going to need a tennis shot. He somehow cleans up after himself. I don't know how you clean tar up off of steps. Yeah. I love the fact you tar some feathers in the He doesn't. Yeah, no, the tar, the tar is on the steps. Huh. And the tarantula just walk. The feather is actually. <laughs> the tarantula is. Okay, make dinner. <laughs> Got to fight on a full stomach. Yep. Gotta have that carbon loading. But again, like we mentioned already, why is this house the silver tuna? Because <laughs> Harry just saw it and he wanted it. I guess. But like, well, but like I said at the beginning, it's like have we, we've been looking in the background. What exactly is worth taking in that house? Not exactly a lot, unless you unless you want to steal all those sewing machines and start your own sewing machine empire. Right, mac and cheese. That's what I made. Although to be fair, when you're eight years old, mac and cheese is awesome. <laughs> yes. All he's had is cheese. He hasn't had any protein. Uh, Kevin and I have very similar palates. Gotta love those <laughs> carbs and cheese. Cheese pizza, mac and cheese. I'm surprised we don't see him eating grilled cheese because that's another thing. They one. said they were coming back at eight. Mm, yeah, I don't remember. Maybe it was nine. Yeah. Lock the BB gun. I mean, I like how prompt they are. No doubt. Nine o'clock. Let's go. <laughs> I, I they are very punctual thieves. <laughs> what are just taking a cleaver and going? You know that you're in there, and that you're all alone. Why would you? Yeah, what is the purpose? Why of would talking? you taunt the kid? Many claws. Myself. 
They probably would have been better off legit dressing as Santa Claus and an elf to get into the house. No doubt. Oh, that would hurt. <laughs> yeah, and here, and here we hear see Joe Pesci trying not to curse, even though you would be cursing. What? What happened? Oh, man. Shoot your eye aim out. The, yeah, aim for the eye. Hello. Don't aim for the forehead. Aim for the eye. Because you take his eye out, he yeah, they're done. The stuff PG thirteen movie or PG movie? It's a PG movie. Yeah, I know it's a PG movie. I'm just I'm just saying in real life you would aim for the eyeball. In real life, these guys would not have survived this night. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, good point. Red in real life, I don't think they'd be out of jail with how incompetent they are. This is hurt. No, they wouldn't even make it. Ah! There's God, a good no, I don't know if that fall would break your spine, but oh my gosh, it certainly could. And it would when, hurt like hell. This would actually fuck you up. Yeah, this part would the yeah. The, you're you're you broke you broke bones. You got broken bones. Yes. You might not be dead, but you're certainly in. You're in a lot of you're pain, and you ain't standing right. back up. You're not getting up. Yeah. Yeah, you ain't not. You're not getting up. You're done. Like I said, I don't know if you'd be dead, but you have a. You broke some bones. Ow! I don't know if the crowbar falling on your head. I I don't know if that would give you a cuss or not, but it would hurt like hell. Just use the fucking grass. Go around the stairs, dude. I don't know. Yeah, like the, he can clearly just walk through the bushes on the other side. Yeah. Like I don't look at that. He could. Oh uh, yeah, that there you broke your spine. Why are that's you doing all... this stuff? Because it's funny. It, that's exactly what it is. It's just this funny. is made to make it your old laugh. To me, I like. I would just go back to the back door and kick it in right after he shot me in the face. Right. Yeah. Dude, you're in the trim. That's not going to do anything. <laughs> you were really bad at this. <laughs> the door's unlocked. You're an idiot. He shoved the crowbar in the trim. He yeah. he's an idiot. He doesn't know how to break into houses. I never realized before before you pointed out that he put it in the trim. Seriously, in the trim. How I dumb! That when I watched this with my nephew. Yeah, here. Uh you're dead. Why are you you're looking dead. up? Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, no, you wouldn't have an imprint in your face. You're no, dead. You knock the fuck out. Yeah, that no, you're I'm pretty sure that would kill you. You You'd have quite the concussion at least. Yeah. Why Call are you so drunk off the stairs? Okay. <sighs> and here, oh geez. I don't know how hot it would have to be to make your hand steam like that. Ouch! <laughs> and, and the steam coming out of the snow. Apply, apply will cold water. <laughs> the M is permanently embroidered in his hand. Yep. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> oh, uh, God. This, this is the part where I can see them cutting it out. Nope, they show this on TV. <laughs> this part here. Ah! Granted. Oh, uh, yeah, you need to take that. <laughs> well, the tar, too, would just. That would be sepsis. Yeah. Finally, somebody gets them right now. Idea. Finally, they go to the back door, which is unguarded. <laughs> yeah, and he learned to touch. Okay, test the door now. Kick the door open. <laughs> Get out of the fire, you idiot! Don't just stand there. 
Oh, geez, that would hurt. <laughs> that's going to be a third degree burn. Yeah, that's yeah. not how that would work. Granted, I'm pretty sure at this point you'd just be like, okay, we're packing up, we're done, we're gone. No. We're out. Now it's just revenge. It's personal now. Yeah, yeah now, now, it's, now, it's, now it's not we're robbing the kid. Now it's we're killing the kid. Yeah, I don't know how he... Yeah, I don't know how he's getting back up those stairs. Yeah, no doubt. With no shoes now. Although it does need to be said, how did he not notice the nail when he was coming up the stairs? Where are you, you little Also, if the stairs were covered in tar, why weren't you like at least taking them two at a time so that you don't lose your shit as quickly? Yeah, no doubt. Like, these guys have the worst observational skills ever. Harry! I'm coming in! Does he know Harry's in the house? I guess he might have heard him. No, he's just yelling, just in case. It's too late for you, kid. We're already in the house. We're gonna get you. Okay, come and get me! Yeah, selfing. Yeah, that's a good prank to pull on someone, but it's not gonna do anything. No, it's cellophane covered in glue. And again, getting covered in feathers. No, again, yeah, it doesn't do anything. Not, it's a, yeah, not doing much, but it's a prank you pull in in like college. But yeah, I don't know how these guys are still going okay, he he without he looking he? around. This guy's feet are fucked. Ouch! Yeah. Jeez, he like pounces down on it so hard, and he didn't even look down because a lot of people have shelves and stuff but under their windows. Still walking, like he's, he's still walking. Look, wait, if you took like a big step, you'd be past the shit. But no, you took two more steps onto exactly. it. Exactly. Mark is an idiot. Mark, where have you take your shoes off? <laughs> Again, how have they not seen that? And I don't, I'm pretty sure stepping on those cars would not make you fall like that. No, no. I would have heard Mar the bottom of Marv's feet. That'd probably Marv's be about it. Bleeding yeah. badly well, Marv, Marv would hurt. Uh, yes, I don't know how Marv would Yeah, he's dead. Now. Again, again, he's dead. And now you're dead. <laughs> Yeah, that's yeah you're dead. dead. You're dead. He's only kidding. We can take him. Ah, shut up. Where are you going? Where is he? I'm missing some teeth. Where? That's my go-to. My go-to. I'll kill him. I'll kill him. He just got hit by the... So, I'm assuming he lost his tooth then when he got hit by the can. Uh, how have you not called 911 already? Yeah, you really should have started with that. Yeah. Yeah, you should open that with that one, seriously. But he called and gave his neighbor Ouch. Shoot him. You have a BB gun. Shoot him. Right. Mind you, I'm pretty sure Mar that Harry wouldn't have been tripped by that rope. I'm pretty sure the rope would have just snapped or... Yeah, here. The, plus, the rope is pretty high up, too. Like, yeah. I don't know how you even trip over that. Either the rope was snapped or the, frame, or the frame he had tied it on was snapped. And he's clearly terrified of spiders. <laughs> but I like how he threw it onto Harry. And yeah. it, it, well, Marv is such an idiot. Yeah, he is. I would keep the rifle. What are you doing, Mark? The, yeah. Mom? <laughs> oh, what are you doing? Step on it. Yeah, you're dead. Broken spot. Yeah, you've broken the, your uh, rib cage there. Mark, you just whacked your best friend in the ribs. You broke his rib cage. Thank you. Yeah. 
Forget the spider. Get the kid. She's. Yeah. Stunt double. Right. Okay, what was his plan here? I'm curious. <laughs> what are you going to do? Just hide out in the tree fort now? <laughs> no. He's going to run across the street. Maybe he committed suicide. You're not that smart. Yeah, come and get me before I call the police. Clearly, he's already called it. Like, yeah, and here, already called Harry, it. you're not smart. Yeah, another window. Are you scared, Mom? Are you afraid? This is the dumbest thing ever. Right. Again, what? It's like, yeah, we go back down through the house, the fun house. Uh, you already know all the traps. Right. You already know all the traps. Just, yeah, why would you cross? The... Doesn't he try to work? He does. But he wants to make sure they're far enough away that they can't get back quickly. Yeah. <laughs> Hey guys, check this out. Oh, go back. Oh. How far up are they? They're about two, two stories. They're about a story and a half right now. They they're out of the attic. No, they're out of the attic. They're three stories up. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that would hurt. I don't know if it would kill them, but they again, bones Congrats. are broken. Yeah. Yeah. I think their noses are broken. Maybe it's the second movie. Not just their noses at this point. No, I know. <laughs> No, their noses aren't broken. There he is! Hey, I'm calling the cops! She says, wait, 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 he wants us to follow yeah, how are they? Yeah, and finally he decides. <laughs> Just fucking. I'm assuming this is the house they've already robbed. Yes. Oh, As wow. You can see the water. The yeah. faucet's been running for two days now. And apparently he clogged the drain. He's an idiot. And apparently clogged the drain. Yes. <laughs> I Mark, don't think that hook would be card, to hold them up like that. Their calling card is causing water damage. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh, he's got back up. <laughs> wow, that's wow, Joe Pesci. Yeah, I. <laughs> That would obviously be concussions. Um, probably kill them for the third or fifth time that yeah. day. Well, like we mentioned, if these were real people, they're dead. They're dead. They would have died a while ago. Yeah. Man, that police car really skidded into that driveway. No doubt. But again, why didn't you call police to begin with? I don't know. But it actually worked out because they got caught in a house that they actually had robbed. Yeah. <laughs> it's like we got all the evidence we need to lock you up for a long time. The wet bandits. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, they have to put their hand on your head so you don't hit your head on the top. His head is burned. That's why he doesn't. Yeah, well, them. his head's his head's burnt, broken, and every dang thing. Yeah. <laughs> the fact that he can even speak in coherent sentences is a is a freaking miracle. <laughs> like I said, when you get the paint can to the face, you're dead. No, just a, a concussion. You'd have a very severe concussion. 
I don't know. I'm pretty sure it'd kill you. Because you got to remember, no. it wouldn't just be your head. It'd hit, your head would snap back, so it'd probably kill you, break your spine. And then you fell back on, so. I know people who have been, like, head-butted by cows and have survived, but have had severe concussions. Oh, exactly. Like, you can you survive. You get butted by a cow, you're in trouble. Yeah. Cows are big, are. strong animals. You are yeah. definitely in trouble, but you can survive it. Yeah. So she got in the car, what, earlier this morning? Yeah, at least. He forgot his kids. Wow! Never even met his kid. Let's hope they don't have a read a book about him. Wow. Have you ever gone on vacation with your child? But I did leave a <laughs> funeral. Wow, dude. That was, uh, it was terrible. I, tell you. I was all distraught and everything. Like, you know, we left a little tight there in the funeral parlor, all dead. All dead. You know, we went back at night when, you know, we came to our senses. And there he was. Apparently, he was there alone all day with a corpse. Now, he was okay. Yeah, after <laughs> feeling. <laughs> he was okay after the therapy. <laughs> yeah, at this point, dude, I understand. At this point, you he would be like, okay, talking to her has not helped at all. I'm just gonna shut up. Some people don't don't get that social cue. Yeah, yeah, they, he does not get understand social cues at all. <laughs> Socially inept is to say the least. I don't know how I got the tar off. Yeah. I don't know, but he managed to clean his entire house. Yeah. I like how he's been sleeping in his parents' bed this whole time. And to be fair, I think you would be too if you're eight. Yeah, I would have slept in my own bed. There's nothing special about my parents' room. They do have a TV in it, though, so maybe I would have. I don't know. I don't know. When I was growing up, my parents had the bigger bed, so I would have been... He's all bummed because Santa didn't yeah. bring his family back. Engine pulling up. How does the mob get up the stairs and not slip on the ice? Because it's covered in snow now. What? Ice is still slippery even if there's snow on top. Oh no, it definitely is. I thought so. Oh, he even left cookies out for Santa. Yeah, he even left Santa cookies. didn't eat. But then again, his family's not home, so he thinks Santa didn't That's visit him because he's been a yeah. bad kid. Uh, yeah. Here, there wouldn't be uh there wouldn't be this old loving look. It would be you sprint over to your son. Yeah, you would there wouldn't be this, oh, we're looking at each other. No, you would have you would have grabbed him at the, you would have be in your arms at this point. She's probably crying. Cause she's so happy he's okay. Oh yeah, she'd be bawling your eyeballs out. Oh, also, she didn't give her earrings to that lady for the plane ticket, despite what she said she was going to do. Oh. Apparently, they just said, "Oh, she's desperate." Okay. Again, she would be. Yeah, she. Yeah, her makeup would not be on anymore. Her, she would be bawling her eyeballs out. Yeah, uh, yeah, they made it. <laughs> Turns out you would have been better suited just waiting for the plane, lady. <laughs> and again, there was a fly out Friday morning, which would have been yesterday. They actually should have been there already. Yeah. It's pretty cool you didn't burn the place down. <laughs> Although, wait until you go to your bedroom and then you're going to want to kill him. Yeah. Wait a minute. How did you guys do? I'll eat in the morning. 
<laughs> yeah, it turns out would have been a better idea to just wait. I don't blame her for trying, though. I mean, yeah, I, I mean, it's not something that I blame her for trying, but. <laughs> he apparently picked up the house. Apparently, picked up the house of all the broken ornaments. Yeah. And, and yeah, now everybody. Uh, come on, seriously, no way. Mm. I don't think his mother would let him out of his sight ever again. <laughs> They fucking leave him in New York. Oh, he missed this. He missed a crumb. No, that's dude, dude's it's tooth. <laughs> Is it the gold tooth? That Where's he finding this at? Yeah. Is it by the steps? Kind of. I guess the tooth could have fallen out from there. Yeah, the gold tooth. Aw, the old oh, guy called his back son. Together with his son. Oh, how oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, nice, yeah. <laughs> nice heartwarming ending. Oh, yeah, it's a John Hughes movie. Mm -hmm. That's a good point. Yeah, and he'd be bawling his eyeball, all eyeballs out, too, at this point. <laughs> he probably is. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, wait for it. <laughs> Where are they going? <laughs> Into his house! Yeah, like I said, what would you do to my room? You are in so much trouble. He's like, oops, I did forget to clean that up. Yeah. <laughs> you, bro you broke all his, all his stuff, you stole his stash, yeah, you're in trouble. <laughs> Well, he needed the money, so. Yeah. Well, I mean, here's the—I mean, the parents would not. The parents would, you know, be like, "Okay, look, you know, he's not in trouble for that, but like, you destroyed the room, though." <laughs> so that was Home Alone, everybody. Uh, yeah, like I said, not exactly realistic, uh, but yeah, it's a holiday classic. It's absolutely hilarious. Uh, where, where'd you go? I was trying to pause the movie because the cr end credits were loud, and I accidentally started Home Alone too. Ah, <laughs> so fair enough. So, all right, yeah. Final thoughts. It's a cute movie. Yeah. I mean, obviously, if you look at it too hard, it doesn't make any sense. Harry and Marv are really—they're the biggest idiots you can imagine to be yeah. outsmarted by an eight-year-old and to even care. Yeah, about no a silver tuna. And who uses that phrase anyway? I've never heard that phrase used ever. So, but yeah, but it, it just, it doesn't, I'm just like, okay, how are they so incompetent that they became the wet bandits? Because apparently they had some success in robbing places. No, yeah. that was, they gave themselves that name. That's, that was Marv's whole thing. He's like, oh, it's our calling card. And Harry's like, it's so stupid. So. Yeah. No, but but it's like but like I said, they would have had to have had some success because if you rob one house and leave the water on, that's not enough to give you the nickname Wet Bandit. So you would have had to have done a good number they, of houses. But there still. was five families gone on that block. Let's assume that they got four of them. Yeah. So, but even, but before then, they would have had to. Have, I don't know. <laughs> I don't see how they six Home Alone movies. Yeah. Oh yeah, like I said, there are five of them, and yeah, they're no, they and they're progressively worse. One, two, three, and four, and then we have Home Alone: The Holiday Heist, and then they just made Home Sweet Home Alone. Yeah. Oh, there's still a sixth one now. Oh my gosh. Yes. I don't even want Home Alone: The Holiday Heist, as if all of these weren't holiday heists. Yeah, wow. no doubt. It's awful. All right. So yeah, like I said, I've kind of this movie. It hasn't. This movie's kind of become a little bit more stupid as I've grown older, just because I look at it now, I'm just like, how are people this stupid? But I don't know. Like I said, it is still a good movie. It is still hilarious. 
Uh, but granted, it is kind of Pratt Falls, the movie. So, so well, thank you, everybody, for watching. And again, this is probably going to be our last Starkfest for the year because, well, obviously next week with Christmas going on, I'm not going to be doing this unless someone unless we squeeze it on, on some random day. But, so yeah, this is probably the last Starkfest for the year. And once we get into the new year, we will finish up Harry Potter, and then we will take it from there. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. We'll probably get Jurassic Park or... Oh, we should probably do the Will Smith movies, too, in there sometimes, too. Which Will Smith movie? You remember, do you, oh, you don't... Uh, I'll, well, let me end the stream, then I'll, I'll tell you about it. So, Well, everybody, thank you for watching. Have a great night, and Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas! Oh, I, should, I wore the wrong hat today. It's fine. <laughs>